Hello, friend. My, my. You look like you've had quite the journey to get here. Come, join me by the river. I am certain you are aware of what this place is. Why would you have journeyed to come here if not? But not all those know what it stands on, what the support pillars are made of. This is a home for those who are lost. They don't know their place in what most call society. Unfitting with people around them. Lacking comfort within daily life. Feeling like an enigma amongst those that have figured their lives out. Or simply unaccepted by those they call friends and family. Do you find yourself in these? Hmm, I understand. Truly, I do. After all, I came here for the same reasons. I wanted to be around those similar to me, to find a purpose in the messy static that we call life. I myself was a student and a kitchen boy. I would go to school during the day, work at night and get a meagre four, probably three hours sleep, and then I would just have to repeat it. I was supporting my family any way I could. I was feeding myself, my sister and my mother. My mother passed from her illness. We knew it was coming and we weren't really surprised by it. Hurt? Yes. But we were ready. I made sure my sister was safe, taken care of and would be well off. I didn't go back to school the following days. Nor work. No, I simply started my pilgrimage here. By the time I had made it, I was a man. The hardships, they were difficult. I had barely a strip of leather left to my shoes. My pants worn, shredded down to shorts. It was a hard and tiring road. But, it completed me, in a way, and once I made it here, I felt it. You feel it too, right? Yeah. <sighs> You didn't come here to listen to a stranger ramble about old lives and dead pasts. Let's leave all of that behind now. I am sure you want to forget the false world we came from. Join me. I wish to show you what we provide here. Then you may choose to stay. If you don't want to, then that is perfectly fine. I will lend someone to guide you back. Come, let's go for a walk. I would give you the typical speech any advertiser would give you. You know, like the typical resort or hotel stays. Here at Riverside, rediscover yourself. Become one with nature and find your spiritual ways. For only $4.99 a night, you can reconnect with a more youthful you. Book now by calling the number on your screen, or you'll miss out. Something along those lines. <laughs> but let's be honest, that only works on old people and very gullible people. Or desperate, I suppose. But those also come here. You are not either of those. 
You seem like quite the bright spark. I am sure you will get along with everyone here. Oh, oh no, no, no. We provide free services here. We won't make you sign anything that discreetly gives ownership to us or anything like that. No. All we ask is that you lend us a hand. You give as much as you take around here. If you want to eat and consume animal products, then you must help with them. Help out breeders, butchers, or anything in between. If you wish to live off vegetables, fruits, and fungi, then you only need to harvest and replant and grow what you use. We don't use currencies or trade here. It is a strain on the mental health of people. It causes a divide. No matter how balanced the system is meant to be. Some may not even need all the capital they have. They simply collect as much as they can. As if it were some high score in a game to compete with all the other elites at the end of their life. <sighs> but you aren't here to live off the land and learn about economics. You are here because you're looking for help. A guiding light in the dark. I am happy to be that light, or rather show you where its trail starts. We have a tradition for newcomers, not any weird ritual or anything like that, but more of a greeting to the land. This location is not random. It isn't chosen because of its remote nature, or because of the peace and calm energies it radiates with. While those are certainly benefits, it is merely a side to the main cause. This land holds power. For centuries, men, women, and children would come here to get a mere glimpse of it. Before these lands were colonized, the natives, they worshipped a deity here. Once they were removed from these lands, the knowledge of this place had faded. One way or another, the deity had been forgotten, remembered by a sparse few. Years later, someone threw artifacts and all kinds of legends and stories. They heard of this place, pieced it all together. They spent all their free time hunting it down. They eventually got smart, went to the natives that were left. <laughs> Hidden in the forest around us the whole time. They guarded them here. They were surprised at how willing the natives were to show them. Once here, they understood. They fell in love. Their entire life's purpose was to build the foundation for what this place stands on today. A few generations pass, and now I, once a kitchen boy, now lead the disciples of Riverside. Yes, disciples, we still very much worship our deity, but don't worry, I will not force you to, it is by choice, hell, you don't even look like you believe me, that is okay, it will change. But you must be ravenous after your trip. Please, allow me to accommodate you with some food. It is the least we could do for the effort you've put in. <sighs> this spot is quite incredible, isn't it? 
I've seen it more times than I can count. And... Mm, it always... In an angel like this, you might see once in a lifetime. Take your time, absorb your surroundings, the sounds, plants, animals, the way the world interacts with both the living and the non-living. Sometimes all it takes to find yourself is just a base level reset in nature. Close your eyes, feel the moment. Hmm. Come, our meals are ready. Yes, it was quick, but we always cook extra. We never know when we may have unexpected visitors. And we can sit here. This is a handmade gazebo. Right by the waterfall, of course. <laughs> Built by yours truly. It was my first large project after learning woodwork skills, and, oh, Janice, thank you. Please, sit. And don't worry, it's a vegan gluten-free pasta dish. One of my favourites, and also the safest meal for newcomers. You never know someone's sensibilities, but... If you don't want it, that's okay. We can fetch something else. I... We... All of us... Will accommodate to your preferences. We are a big family here. We all look out for each other. Oh, he'll take it. Good, good. Janice here made the pasta herself. She is considered a veteran here. She has been working the cooking area since I first arrived. Between you and me, she's looked ancient since I got here. But, maybe that's what her wish was. <laughs> After all, we get one. And it can be whatever we want. Yes, wishes. Our deity gives us one. Well, only one per person, but you must be very devoted. Only once you have earned its favour, its trust, can you meet it. Then it will truly judge you and find a task to fulfil you with. Why didn't the natives... <sighs> well, it's... Complicated. While I'm certain our deity did not want them to perish as they did, they weren't devoted enough. They went and fought back. Those that were devoted and were granted their own wishes, they didn't care. They wanted to be with it. They did not worry about outsiders or anything of that kind. What if you were to meet it without its favour? Are you aware of what a pressure chamber is? This is relevant, I promise. Well, a pressure chamber is a room that has heavily reinforced walls and an air system that controls atmospheric pressure. The higher the pressure, the denser the air. If you're in a pressure chamber and it shifts high slowly, your body will adjust. It's extremely good at it. But if it were to change rapidly, it's not as good as it is slow. The results would be... messy, to say the least. One such case happened that I had witnessed. 
A man ran through, screaming about something. Shadows, corners of the room, some ringing in his ears. I faintly remember. He burst his way into the foundry, took himself to the center of the complex. <laughs> he wished to damage the deity. By the time I caught up to him, I was very ready to destroy him myself. But I suppose I was beaten to it. You'd have needed a team to count the pieces. Do not misconstrue it though. Our deity is grateful. It cleaned up the mess for us. Absorbing the materials left of that man into itself. We only had to find a way to cover up his death. Hmm. <sighs> sorry, sorry. This is much darker than I ever wanted our introduction to be. Although we have had smaller incidents in the past, this is the most remarkable one. It had never happened before, and I pray it never happens again. Now, let's eat and forget all about that. We still have so much to show you. <sighs> Did you enjoy that? Good, good. There is never a bad meal here. Every single piece of food is prepared with love and dedication to the craft. We all specialize in what we enjoy, not what is needed. And by doing so, we manage to fill all roles needed in our community. No one is left hungry, thirsty, sick or bored. We have everything anyone would need. And before we continue with our tour and any more information about this place, I must ask, what are your thoughts of this place in joining here? Mm. I see. I had hoped you were more open to new experiences, especially with how much effort you spent on getting here. I am sorry to say you won't be leaving. I told you quite a significant amount. No, 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 no. Please, stay seated. You won't be going anywhere. given my wish long ago, long, long ago. It was very simple, a 50-50 split, eternal servitude for a fraction of its power. My power. For each devotee we grow stronger, I am a physical form for it to spread its reach. I was lying when I said I hadn't known you were coming. I mean, I am basically a god. If you don't think we have surveillance of any kind, you'd be an idiot. But I am surprised that you denied my offer. A little upsetting, I must say. I had hoped to have you here under your complete free will. No tampering, no blackmailing. <sighs> maybe, maybe a tad bit of corruption. 
persuading of a kind? You would be a fun plaything, turning you into a true devotee, one that lives to give energy to this realm and to me. <sighs> Is that something you'd like? <laughs> No matter your decision, I won't allow you to stay. Not here, anyway. Now, that isn't to say I wouldn't enjoy it. But, rather, it would be a waste. From the moment you walked onto these premises, I could tell there was something more to you. One of the special few who have the sense. A power within them. I want to show you how to tap into this. It is a natural resource gifted to you from my deity. Me. You were chosen. You are so much more than you know. I want to help you. And it's fine if you don't willingly. I will take your body from you and leave your mind trapped in a blissful hell. I don't mind. I will give you a final chance. With this display, the truth shown to you, we aren't some loony people in the wilderness. You can see with your own everything that this is real. So, will you join us? Join me?